Hello, uh, my name is Connor Burke, and I am making this video blog to tell you about my experiences in Barcelona and how they have been relevant to the different things we've been learning um, throughout the semester in our course. Um, so in Barcelona, um, obviously I've been traveling a lot of different places, um, and I've also been taking a lot of pictures while I've been going to these different places. Um, when I go to uh, different sites in Barcelona. I always want to try to capture um, my moments through these images, um, with whether it's with um, selfies that I take with myself or with other groups of people, um, or whether it's of things around me, of cool views, uh, cool buildings, cool architecture, cool paintings, just cool experiences overall that I've been um, seeing in the city. And when I travel to other places, I want to do the same thing as well. For instance, in Prague, when I went to go see the Charles Bridge, I took a video and picture of the bridge and the different sites around the bridge, such as the castle um, that is also in Prague, um, and the architecture um, in the city there as well. Um, so basically, I do this for every new experience that I witness. Um, first of all, because I'm in Barcelona, and I can take these pictures and then show them back to my family and friends um, at home in the United States. Um, and also for my own um, self-reflection for when I go back to the United States um, so I can view these um, images, pictures, and videos um, and have cool memories of them. So I feel like that's a topic of discussion that we've learned in our course, um, that people take pictures um, that they see, but sometimes it might take them out of the moment, and they might be too focused on uh, putting it on social media and showing um, a good self-representation of themselves um, to show other people. Um, so the question is, do taking these pictures and videos uh, take you out of the moment when you're doing it? And I don't think so. I think that, you know, there's always after the moment you take the picture and video, you kind of appreciate that moment that you're in and see it for yourself, your own experience, while you also have the video to look back on. Um, I think that having the video pictures and all of that is very big um, when also you're showing your experiences abroad on social media to your family and friends um, so they can see what you have been doing and um, kind of keep track of you so you're not uh, misleading them. Um, so I think that taking pictures um, and videos of your experiences doesn't take you out of the moment necessarily, but putting them on social media for others to see um, kind of embraces the experience with your families um, and friends back in the States as well. Thank you.